pull out those stencils because it's time to get inky. Hello everyone, my name is Brennan and welcome to Brennan's Crafty Corner. Hello everyone, my name is Brennan, design team member for Stamp Anything and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited to be bringing you a new video on how to use your stencils with a couple of different techniques. Stencils are just so versatile and a wonderful tool for card making and crafting and I just love them so much. Just so you know, any Stamp Anything product you see in this video was sent to me free of charge as I am a design team member and that is kind of the nature of it. So let's get into this video because you need to see these techniques. So for this first technique, I'm going to use the retro half circle stencil, which I believe has since retired. A lot of the stencils in this video are going to have retired or have been a part of stencil club where you get three stencils a month for I believe it's 10 or $11. But once those, once the month's up, you can't get them again. Or if you're not subscribed to the club, you can't get them. So first we're going to actually, this is going to be a three fur technique, not even a two fur, a three fur. So we're going to ink up our stencil, but you can totally put another card front underneath the stencil while you're inking it up like I am to get a whole nother inked background. So we have, you can see the circles getting done there. And I'll, you wouldn't normally have to position it again, but I am since I'm doing a three fur. If you want to just do a two fur, it really wouldn't matter what happens if it shifts or not. But we're focusing on inking up the stencil. That's the main priority here. So now that we have that done, we have one background and we're gonna wipe up the excess ink here just so we don't get a ton on our cardstock if we don't want it there. Just God forbid we get inky fingers or something because my fingers are already inky enough. Now with our stencil already having ink on it, we can go in and just press this on. So bloop. did not get a perfect plop, but that's okay. Still be a really fun background. And now I'm just pressing, pressing the ink from the stencil onto the card base. There we have our second background. The darker colors work a little better. You can still see it up here, but it's definitely more pronounced down there with the, um, with the Fiesta Blue opposed to the Aquatini ink. But now I'm gonna go in with some water. And now with the water and the ink, we can do another background. So I'm just gonna lift this up and also wipe down my craft mat really quickly. I don't wanna get overload my cardstock with water because it's not a watercolor cardstock. It's just hammer mill. I'm gonna press this down once more. And we're gonna get another beautiful card front and lift and reveal. And this one came out a little better with that light color because of the water, but this was a three for technique and we have three card fronts within two minutes. Two minutes it just took to make three card fronts. So that's one option for stencils. Now we're gonna do some tone on tone ink blending with a stencil. So I have the On The Grid stencil here, which I believe is also retired, so I apologize about that. I'm gonna place this down under my cardstock. And you could actually do this two ways, ink blend a background and then stencil over, or you could stencil first and then you could do your background. I'm choosing to do the latter here today. So I have my Aquatini ink out again. And my hands are just gonna get progressively inkier and inkier as this video goes on. But I'm just gonna ink blend through this stencil, covering all the panel I can with the stencil. <laughs> because obviously I can't do the whole panel because the stencil's there, duh. But you don't have to do this that well because we're gonna go back in and ink blend a little more. You do wanna make sure though you get a nice and dark coating because we're gonna cover up the white area that's remaining with the same ink. So if you don't get it super dark, that effect's not gonna be the same. So we're gonna peel and reveal a beautiful background. And now we can remove this tape. We're gonna go over it. Again, with the exact same Aquatini ink, we're just gonna blend over. And this is gonna create a different look, but it's still gonna be really beautiful. And you're still gonna see that super awesome stencil design. So now I'm just gonna keep doing this until all the white area is covered with that Aquatini ink. So now that we've ink blended over the entire panel, you can really see this technique in full effect. You can still very much see where we stenciled, but there's less of a contrast now that we've ink blended over with the Aguatini and it just looks really cool. I like to use this technique for creating wallpaper for a card. This is one here with Dorothy Golden Girl stamp set. She is still available, I believe. So if you want her, you can get her. But I use that same on the grid stencil back here to create a wallpaper effect. And I really like how this came out. For the last technique of the video, we're gonna be doing some double stenciling, which creates a super cool effect. So I have that half circle stencil again here. I'm gonna place it down as best as I can. <laughs> and there we go. So now I'm gonna go back in with our Aquatini ink, just because that's what I still have out on my desk. And I'm just gonna ink blend over the entirety of the stencil so all of our circles are filled in. I would suggest doing this technique with a stencil, the first stencil should have a lot of area 
that's not covered. So like these circles, that's a big area. So that would be perfect. So you have enough room to adequately see the second stencil. If you're doing a stencil that doesn't have a bunch of open area, it will still work, but you're not gonna be able to see your second stencil as amazingly. So that's why I would suggest doing one with larger openings. So now that we've completely covered the open space with some ink, we can go in with our second stencil. So this is the Trellis stencil, which was a part of Stencil Club a few months back. And I double checked, it's $10 a month to get at least three stencils a month. I'm saying at least three because sometimes there's layering stencils where you'd get more than three stencils. So it would be one layering set and then two separate stencils. So now I'm just layering this trellis stencil over the other stencil. So now you can see we're going to stencil back over with that same Aquatini ink. We're going to fill in some areas and it's going to look so cool. So now we're just going to go over this entire stencil once more with our ink and then we'll be done. Now that I've gone through with the second stencil and everything is completely covered, we can peel to reveal. This is going to look so cool. So that's our first stencil. Now we're going to take off the second one and look at how amazing this is. You can see that first stencil, which created those half circles, but then the pattern of the second stencil, the trellis stencil, is within the half circles. Isn't that so cool? This is honestly giving me Christmas vibes almost, but I really love how it came out. Okay, I already said it, but stencils are just so versatile and so much fun. I love using them, and if you don't, maybe you can learn a couple more techniques from this video and you'll start to love them. If you already love them, hopefully you learned something new as well. I hope you have an amazing yesterday, and thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone, and happy crafting!